VST, or Virtual Studio Technology, was developed by Steinberg for integrating plugins into your DAW. In this video from Obedia, we'll see how VSTs work in Cubase. Plus, we'll tell you how you can enter to win free one-on-one -on -one time with one of Obedia.com's training experts. Hi, I'm Sax, and you're watching Wink Sound. All summer long, Wink Sound will be sampling the best of audio technology with weekly giveaways and video releases. This week, we've teamed up with our friends at Music Recording Training and Support Center Obedia to give away 60 minutes of one-on-one -on -one time of technical support with one of their experts. If you already subscribed to Wink Sound on YouTube, you're automatically entered to win. If you haven't subscribed yet, just click the subscribe button. Now, Ryan from Obedia.com explains how to insert VST plugins within Cubase. First, click on Project. Scroll to Add Track and select Instrument. The Add Instrument dialog box will appear. Now, where it currently says No VST Instrument, click and select the instrument that you would like to load. I'm going to use Native Instruments FM8. I'll select my VST instrument, and after I've chosen how many instances I would like to create, I'll just stick with one. I'm going to hit OK. Now, FM8 has been added as a VST instrument to my Cubase project. If I would like to use the graphical user interface for the instrument that I've just loaded, I need to click on the Edit Instrument icon here in the Track Inspector. When I click on that, the instrument's graphic user interface will appear, and I can make edits to this instrument and also play and record MIDI into my Cubase project. Wink Sound is your source for free music and audio technology videos featuring Cubase. Join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Twitter and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology.